stupid they are balancing some to go standard sometimes these developers don't know what the hell balance means triple damage now it's hard it's so hard now which one's the any key My Corsair K70 keyboard, which is lovely, doesn't seem to have a uh, any key. Maybe if I just type any? Yeah, that worked. Where? Where am I? Why? God. Why? Adam! Adam! Why are you stalking us? Is this about Adam's work? What do you want from us? Why are you tormenting our family? No! Adam! Oh, no. No, what have you done to Adam? Oh, God. War calls for casualties. No, there is no war. We're just a, we're just a regular family. Do you hear me? We just wanted to live our life. And you ruined everything. Pictures, bugs, threats. And now you've killed me. Stay away! Don't! They already know about you. They've been watching the house. They won't let you. Hush. No! What are you doing? What are you doing? I am sitting. How does she not know what murder is? Does she not understand that I'm murdering her? I don't get it. I mean, what are you doing? Pass. Obviously Russian killing you. On the Russian threat that we... <laughs> oh, this is janky already. we go, the more doubts I have. It will be challenging, true. But it was you who kept saying you'd like to get away from the city. Feel the call of the wild. For the weekend, honey. Not for the rest of our lives. <laughs> who says it's for the rest of our lives? Really, Emma? We don't know the day or the hour. Oh, very funny. Like we don't hear enough about nuclear threats in the media. That's what I'm talking about. If I don't break the code, this country would be like a basket full of nuclear mushrooms. Adam, stop it. But then again, maybe this shack will fall down on us before Brezhnev's boys launch their first missiles. It's no shack. It's a present from your parents, and you should appreciate it. That is not a shack. Take That's a, a goddamn mansion. It looks even better than the photos. Extremely square, though. What the hell, developer? Well, our stuff made it here before us. And those lazy movers didn't even bother waiting for us. That's okay. We can bring it all in ourselves. Yeah, meaning I toil away while you get orders from the shower. I love how they're going into the countryside, but they have a frickin' mansion. Three-hour drive and we're finally here. The place seems peaceful and quiet. Maybe it'll help me to focus on those damn telegrams to decipher. It's Honey, beautiful here, don't though. just stand there. Those boxes won't carry themselves in. Update. The place seems peaceful and quiet until Emma showed up. Ha <laughs> ha. Humor. Lol. So peaceful here. Think of think about how many movies and books, TV shows start with a person from the city going out into the country. Just think in your head how many of movies you've seen like that. Just so many. So many. It's so peaceful and lovely out here. It's going to be such a pre peaceful, beautiful game. I'm sure there will be nothing horrible that happens at all. I can already see why she got axed, because... This house looks like a house I built in The Sims. Just one big-ass square with a shitty roof. 
at a porch. Tab, check the voice recorder. Adam is the voice recorder to record conversations and stops at the current events. Emma, don't stand there. The boxes won't carry themselves in. Gotta get those boxes inside. Some weird looking boxes. Put the box on a table upstairs. I'm sure that's fine. Oh my god. Okay, this is a dump. Jeez. Okay, this is an absolute shithole. Oh, where am I putting this? Box upstairs. FedEx package! Said table upstairs, right? It... Let me grab this. A pull hook for lowering the attic stairs. Oh, she's in there taking a shower, I think. It says kitchen cutlery, though. Why am I putting it upstairs? Oh, that table. Box is where it should be. Time to paint the walls. I think there's some paint in the attic. Shouldn't you like move in after you're done painting and everything? Just seems like the smarter thing to do. You've got to be kidding me. Fuck. Whoa. Oh, we will make a great agent, just like Dad. Honey, I can't get in the goddamn attic without a key. Check the dining room. It should be in a drawer. This guy's potty language, my god. Fucking books. Nothing good there. Okay, I need to lower the sensitivity. It's way too freaking high. Low. As if there was one drawer. Nope, nothing in here. Nope. I can't find it in the dining room. Oh, sorry. I, I guess I didn't get it from the trunk. Oh, <sighs> typical. I'm gonna hit her with an axe. That's it. That's it. A Thinking Woman's Guide to Pregnancy. Oh, dear God. <sighs> Adam Kruger, it's not a nightmare, even if it looks like one. A Thinking Woman's Guide to Pregnancy. Bestseller of 1978. Half a million copies sold. American Bible of Pregnancy. Great. Lovely. You can literally throw everything in this house. But the trunk was locked. It is 3 o'clock. Thank God I can work remotely. I don't set my alarm for 6 a.m. <laughs> Adam, our dearest son. This house belonged to our family for decades. Some even called it the Stevenson Refuge. But uh, when me and your dad moved to Boston, we thought Grandpa was just going to sell it as... He said he would. Well, he didn't, surprisingly. Um, 
He left it for us in his will, and now you and your lovely wife will live here, raise your kids, and simply enjoy life from far away from the turmoil of our dangerous time. I can't even imagine a, a better place to settle down. Take good care of Emma. We'll visit you sometime next month if my aching hip allows that. Mom. Dad thinks he should be the one up, come up with a name for your son or daughter. No idea why he's insisting that. Maybe he's just getting old and tries to leave some kind of legacy. Anyways. Act surprised when he mentions it to you. Okay. Um, the trunk is locked. Okay, luckily I can pop the trunk. Why does everything look like it's covered in grime and dirt? Ah, oh, there she is. Everything's like super covered in nastiness. Uh oh, trying to get nighttime. And everyone knows that ghosts can't haunt you unless it's nighttime. They belong to dancing figurines. Grandma, grandpa, someone else. <laughs> Rotate to find the hidden message. Someone must have hit him really hard to make his legs fall off. Wait, is that blood? Smashed up cans, bottles. What was I looking for up here? Paint, I think? Or something? Uh, I should put. There's some paint in the attic, yeah. I see spray paint, but I don't think that's what we want to... I don't see any paint. That was my whole point to cut up here is paint, but I don't see any. Unless it's one of these boxes over here. F old photos. Books, box full of ca box full of cash. Oh, hell yeah. Smiley face. Christmas decoration. Books. Is it in that one? Oh, there it is. Got it. Damn it. <laughs> Hmm, what's that? What are you doing? Fucking dumbass. Oh, my one hand gripping it so lightly made it drop. Oh. A loose plank. 
Someone's hidden something under the floor. I need to pry it up. Maybe I can find a crowbar somewhere. Um. You just aimlessly look for a crowbar? You're gonna tell me where the hell it is. Um. Just. All right. Let's just. Look for a crowbar with no direction as to where the hell it is. Okay, well, let's go downstairs, I guess. Um, is there a garage? Or a basement? I see a wrench. <laughs> Gosh, she's loud brushing her teeth. She's upstairs and I'm hearing her brush her teeth. What? I like to eat. I'm sorry. Eating is very pleasurable for me. I like to eat things at my glass. Seeing pipes everywhere, but no like crowbar. Um, is there like a garage or a shed outside somewhere? Is that blood? Well, I see a I see a shack with a bloody handprint. get far without a crowbar I know that's why we're looking for what um, looking for a crowbar this is the kind of de game design that makes me infuriated is go find a crowbar Could you give me a little more hint than that? <laughs> no, just aimlessly wander around for hours looking for it. It's somewhere out there. Just keep looking. I'm sure you'll happen upon it at some point. Like, I have no idea where it is. It... I didn't see one there. Um... Chat says they saw it somewhere. Chat says lots of things that aren't true. Just to go. Lol, he didn't know. Got him. Yeah, we played Visage, but Visage is still not finished all, all these years later. Taking a sweet-ass time with it. Where the hell is the crowbar? I 
I've got SIGs if I need some SIGs. I don't want to break my fingers. I better check if there's a crowbar in the attic somewhere. You could have said that an hour ago. Nothing. Where is that? Wait, there's a second ladder here. <sighs> Throw that down there, kiss need that later. Hope it's not great grandpa's porn mags. I hope it is. While women in real life get older all the time, the women in the videos stay at the same age. <clears throat> An excerpt from Julius Caesar's Commentaries on the Gaelic War. Remember from my Latin classes, some letters look different than the others. M H P A O <laughs> I'd have to be a goddamn code breaker. Wait, isn't that what I do for a living? J equals C. All right, hold on. I need a piece of paper for this. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. All right, if J is C... B, A, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. So it's M H P A O, which translates into F A I T H Faith. The hidden, the hidden message is faith. I'll show my work. The hidden message is faith. Oh. This device will help me decode the letters in the text. No, it won't. Well, I didn't need to do that. I have to break the cipher to open the box. Well, I already solved it, but I know they're going to give me a, one of the keys. Save me all that writing, but I already solved it. The 
An, an antique key. What could you unlock with it? The property of Nicholas. It is September 27th in the year of our Lord, 1864. Evening. Almost evening. Chapter 2. It is September 27th in the year of our Lord. Evening. Almost night. Never before have I slept, kept a diary, but they say that one... It might be a chance for me to reclaim the memories I have lost. <clears throat> Besides, writing entails a clarity of thought, makes it easier to distinguish facts from imagination. It is September 27th, in the year of our Lord, 1864. Evening, almost night. Never before have I kept a diary but they say that it might be a chance for me to reclaim the memories I have lost. Besides, writing entails a clarity of thought, makes it easier to distinguish facts from imagination. I'm home again after 10 years absence. I'm relieved to find the house unscathed. That's good. It's the only roof I have over my head for now. I should light some candles and take a look around. Hurry. That's... No trace of my father. Did I honestly think he would welcome me at the door? He vanished a decade ago without so much as leaving a letter. The house feels strange, even though it has not changed one bit. There are fears creeping out of the darkness whose source I cannot be. Upstairs. What could it be? Lantern. Could there be a beast inside? Press Tad, read the diary. Nicholas writes down thoughts as well important information. I have an old lamp, two kerosene, and 13 matches. More kerosene. My father and his partner, a few days after opening the pyrite mine. Jacob Hyde and George Whitehead, April 4th, 1870. Hyde, as in Mr. Hyde? Jekyll? Get from my father, um, partner George. Remember, fate played a cool trick on him back in his kid, so it gives me the creeps. <laughs> Yeet! Must upset my father because one day he tossed a finger and hit me in the head. I can see it suffered more damage than I did, though. Monster! Yeet! I'm a loot horse, so I'm gonna need to make sure I get all the matches and kerosene I can find. Oh, yes. There we go. Ah, uh, more matches. Okie dokie. There's 
there's some noise coming from upstairs. It might be him. It might be matches. Damn, I got all the goddamn matches now. So many locked so many locked doors in this place. A pipe. I tried to smoke it once. Unfortunately, my father found out and made me smoke a cigar. When I act like an, uh, if I want to act like an adult, I vomit all night and never touch that pipe again. That's good parenting right there. He will never smoke again. Preemption. My father bought this land practically for nothing. His friend George Norton signed the contract and the deal was made. That's how it, they did it back then. <clears throat> Hereby certified that pursuant to the provisions of the Act of Congress approved January 13th, 1838, an act to secure land preemption to actual settlers on the public domain. Jacob Hyde, payment made in full $400 for 320 acres at $1.25 a share. That's a lot of goddamn land. Holy shit. Now, therefore, be it known that on presentation of the certificate to the Commissioner of the General Land Office, that Jacob Hyde should be entitled to a patent for the track of the land above described. John Norton, Registrar. Uh, my father knew that that was knew what was hidden underneath. He needed to someone the resources to open a mine. Uh, that's when he met George, and they built the inn for a time. Uh, he was actually rolling in it, roll, rolling it in. Good old days. I'm afraid that he's it's not coming back. I'm getting all the kerosene in the world. Pretty soon I'll be able to open a kerosene shop. Oh, more matches. Oh, I'm trapped. I can't go further. <laughs> Damn you drawers. Father? Damn, Wit. I, I thought the window was bolted shut. <laughs> oh, God! Jeez. Hey, what are you doing here? This is private property. that guy <laughs> hey just wheelbarrow in here don't mind me just an angel I never do anything wrong more kerosene good No, seriously, guys, don't worry. I'm just just doing a little wheelbarrowing here. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> so 
so many matches in this place. We have so much kerosene and matches everywhere. In this house, it is nuts. Although I guess when you're in the old times, that's kind of like your main light source. Jacobs and Moobs. He reproached me for making faces not standing straight. Although he was the one who could, couldn't stand still, as you can tell. He gave me good thrashing, though, even though I didn't deserve it. I want someone to give me a good thrashing. This is a really weird place to store your jeans. Middle of the hallway? Like, what? It's like, really? Can someone double check when jeans were invented? Those look like modern day jeans. I just got go? 14 different answers. Wow. Thanks. Thank you, Jeff. Hey! You still here? I better take a look. He pointed at the shed. Maybe I can find something in there. Google says 1873. What year was this? Ugh. Could be kerosene stuff around the back. Yeah, there we go. Bolt cutters. I'll take those. Paper clipping. The terrible crime shocked the peaceful little community. The deputy sheriff called to the end and confirmed the man's death. John Nortman had been considered uh, missing the last few weeks. The assailant was exceptionally brutal. The victim's throat was slashed and many cuts and burns all over his body suggest prolonged torture. Great. Gruesome murder here? John Norton. Sounds familiar. Although, I don't think you can just say murder. You have to say, if you're in the 1800s, you got to go, murder? You know? Just feels fitting. That's my father's hat. The basement. Did he leave this as some kind of clue for me? I should look into it. Oh, my God. What the fuck was that? Did you see that? They look more like a glitch than something, anything else, though. They look like a bug. I don't know if it was a glitch or that was actual leap. Supposed to look like that? <laughs> I don't feel like looking for that vagabond in the dead of night. I'd better go home. Or should we go into the basement? Basement, basement. Is 
Because there's nothing that ever goes wrong in the basement. What? You let yourself in? Hey, are you deaf? I'm talking to you. <laughs> huh? Am I going mad? What in heaven's name is going on? Uh, if I tell anyone about this, I'll end up in an asylum. That's true. They'll lock your ass up. They didn't treat, uh... They didn't treat mentally ill people very well back in the day. Pretty much threw you in a box and locked the key, locked the door. Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my. <sighs> we got a yeeting ghost over here. I must say the voice acting is actually quite decent in this game. They got good, good decent voice actors. I know when ghosts eat back, not cool. Did they have Uber Eats back in the day? It's like the handle broke off of that one. Father never could express emotions, but he felt unhappy. He used to clutch this little angel in his hand. Eat. more kerosene and matches please because I have a problem where I need all the loot where did all this blood come from dear god the the dear god there's a dear god There is blood all over the place here. I'm not ex I'm not accepting visitors today. You'll see if this is a good idea. How in the world is any of this a good idea? Why are we still in here? Smart idea would be to get the fuck out of here and never come back.
He does, the actor doesn't sound the least bit scared. <laughs> I was like, I wonder if this is a good idea. Blood too much for the victim to survive. I'll follow the trail, but it makes me not just think about what I might find. Why did the music disappear? Son of a bitch. Why is it so fucking quiet? Stop with the fucking quiet. I hate quiet in games like this. Bring back the music, please. Oh, I see someone's nervous. The hillside inn is now open. 40 comfortable rooms, close to refuge in the mountain village. Uh, near the famous Caroline Pyrite Mine. Don't delay. Visit today. All right, we good now. Let's at least block one shot. Give him a paper cut. <laughs> Jeez, fucking rat. Oh, is this basement? Oh, God. I don't like this. I don't like this at all, chat. This is not making me. It's just, it's. How are you guys doing? I don't know. It's just like, why am I playing this? This is not fun. This is like terrifying. Oh, my God. Okay. Every time there's a tunnel where the player's vision is forced in a tiny area, they love to have a scare at the end of the tunnel. And I know it's coming, but it's going to scare the shit out of me anyways. behind there. Maybe there's another way in. You could just have slid it. You know? Maybe there's something in my briefcase that would help get it open. Oh, God. I have to get in there. Whatever happened, I hope it's not my father's blood. Ah! <laughs> I knew it. Am I delusional? <laughs> they did it on the, on the, the back track. Like, 
I need to get rid of them before I leave the basement. He's upstairs. What does he want from me? Sepakut, thank you for subbing. And thank you, Rudy Day, for the six hour tip. It says, 70 months, almost six years. Love every day of the streams. Sitting the horror marathon made my week. Thank you so much. And thank you for the prime sub, Amber, Amber Marie. I'm not stalling, okay? I have to read the subs, all right? It's vital that I say thank you to the subscribers. That's not stalling, all right? That's just me doing my job. I gotta do my job, okay? Shit. I was gonna fork his eyeball, but I think I just have to survive until dawn. What the hell's my briefcase? Has someone gone through my briefcase? I have no idea why it took a look to it, the place uh, where I spent last deck. I can't remember where the which lock it fits. Who the hell are you? Stay back. You hear me? Keep away! Don't you dare! Go away, monster! Go away! It's been having story time. Lovely. Damn it, someone must have torn out the rest of the pages. <laughs> okay. Strange. I was in the attic and I'll show the diary to Emma. She might find it interesting. Interesting. Oh, we've just been reading forever. Now it's that thing from earlier. That was a pretty good horror section. I like that. That was that was pretty good. Had a nice mix of jump scares and just being uneasy the whole time. It was, it was pretty good. Let's hope they can keep it up. Is my waifu. <laughs> Honey? Honey, you won't believe what I found it. Hey, Emma? Can you hear me? Emma? I was calling you before, but you wouldn't even answer. Where have you been? I was snooping around the attic. I found this... The power is out, by the way. Diary. W what A fuse must have blown. Be a darling, go to the basement, and fix it before it gets dark. This place needs a lot of work. 
The sooner we start, the better. I don't have to tell you that, do I? Yes, lady. Yes, lady, ma'am, sir. God. I'm so whipped. <clears throat> she wants me to go to the basement, though? What's her problem? She sounded like I took a piss on a mother flower bed. Oh, the light source. Do we have a flashlight or something? Or a torch or... Do we have a candle? I need a flashlight. It's so damn dark in the basement. Maybe I can find one in the attic. There's a lot of junk in there. Why would you have a basic necessity like a flashlight, though? The fuck is that? <laughs> That's not a flashlight. What the? Okay. <laughs> it's like an old as shit flashlight. Horsey Worsey. This horse will haunt me in my dreams. I bet his chiming has startled many people. Mm hmm. I dry eyes. Ah, sorry, I didn't excise. It's an antique, but in mint condition. That's what I like. Doesn't look like it's been affected by the ravages of time, so maybe I can use it to break a few Russian ciphers. Yeah, or sell it for the big money and move to a different house. Where are the fuses? Probably in the back where the... That wall, though. Strange, one's missing. Did someone take it out on purpose? The shed. Maybe there's a spare fuse in the shed by the house. Why is the shed key in there, and why is that bricked up? We know that there's a passage back there. Why would you brick it up? Unless you know there's demons in there. Or EA headquarters. I hope Visceral buys back the rights to Dead Space and makes another one without EA's corruption. <laughs> 